Mother Teresa was born on the 26th of August, 1910 in Skopje, which is now the capital of North Macedonia. Her birth name was Angie's Gonksh Bohakshu. She was the youngest of three children. Her family was of Albanian descent, and they were devout Catholics. Her father died when she was eight years old, leaving her mother to raise the children alone. As a child, Angie's was fascinated by stories of missionaries and their work. She decided at the age of twelve that she wanted to dedicate her life to serving God. When she was eighteen, she left her home and joined the Sisters of Loreto, an Irish community of nuns with missions in India. She never saw her mother or sister again, and Jeez was sent to India, where she began her novitiate in Darjeeling, near the Himalayas. She learned English there as it was the language used by the Sisters of Loreto. She took her first religious vows in 1931 and chose to be named after Therese de Lisiox, the patron saint of missionaries. However, because another nun in the convent had already chosen that name, she opted for the Spanish spelling of Teresa. Mother Teresa was sent to Calcutta, now Kolkata, to teach at St. Mary's High School for girls. The school was run by the Sisters of Loreto, and its aim was to educate girls from the poorest families in the city. She taught for many years and eventually became the principal of the school. On the 10th of September, 1946. During a train ride to the mountain town of Darjeeling for a retreat, Teresa received what she later described as the call within the call. She felt that she should leave the convent and help the poor while living among them. It took nearly two years of preparation before she was able to begin her new mission. In 1948, she received permission from the Vatican to leave her order and live as an independent nun. Mother Teresa started her work by opening a small school in the slums of Calcutta. She also began tending to the needs of the destitute and starving. In 1950, she received permission from the Vatican to start her own order, the Missionaries of Charity. The primary objective of this organization was to look after people who nobody else was prepared to look after. The Missionaries of Charity began to grow rapidly, attracting many volunteers and donations. In 1952, Mother Teresa opened the first home for the dying in a building made available by the city of Calcutta. She renamed it Nimal Hridi, meaning pure heart. Those brought to the home received medical attention and were afforded the opportunity to die with dignity according to the rituals of their faith. She opened a home for those suffering from leprosy, calling it Shanti Naga, meaning City of Peace. The missionaries of charity also established several leprosy outreach clinics throughout Calcutta, providing medication, bandages, and food. Mother Teresa's work began to be recognized throughout the world. In 1962, she received the Padma Shri, one of India's highest civilian honours. She was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1979.
The Nobel Committee recognized her work in bringing help to suffering humanity. Despite her widespread acclaim, Mother Teresa was not without her critics. Some argued that the care provided in her facilities was inadequate and that she focused too much on the suffering rather than trying to cure it. Others criticized her opposition to contraception and abortion. Nevertheless, her dedication to her cause was undeniable. In her later years, Mother Teresa suffered from various health problems, including heart disease. She continued to work, however, until her death on 5 September 1997. By the time of her death, the missionaries of charity had grown to more than 4,000 sisters and hundreds of thousands of volunteers operating 610 missions in 123 countries. Mother Teresa was beatified by Pope John Paul II in 2003, which is a step toward sainthood in the Roman Catholic Church. She was canonized as Saint Teresa of Calcutta by Pope Francis on the 4th of September, 2016. Mother Teresa left a lasting legacy of love and compassion. Her work continues through the Missionaries of Charity, which remains active worldwide, caring for the sick, the poor, and the dying. She is remembered as a symbol of charitable work and as a person who dedicated her life to the service of others. Mother Teresa's life story is one of faith, dedication, and love for humanity. Her work has inspired countless people around the world to help those in need, proving that a single person can make a significant difference in the lives of many.